Load the datum example file example data.tdm in order to follow this tutorial. Activate the view panel and create a new layout with the file, new menu options. Choose the regular worksheet partitions group bar and then the option for areas. In the data portal, expand the channel group example and then select the channel time first and then the channel speed and RPM. Drag and drop the three selected channels into every the view sheet upper left area and then choose the 2D axis system from the pop-up menu that appears. Repeat this for the remaining three view sheet areas. Use the 2D axis system y-axis toolbar to configure the y-axis for each of the four view sheet areas as N systems linear. The 2D Axis System Settings dialog will appear if you either double-click inside a 2D Axis System chart or right-click on it and choose the pop-up menu option, Settings. The upper section of the dialog labeled Curve List will list any curves assigned to the 2D Axis System. You may use the toolbar within the Curve List frame to edit, add, and delete curves. Within a specific Curve List item, the column number identifies the curve, and the checkbox enables or disables the display of the curve. The column type allows you to select between a curve type of line, spikes, and stair curve. The column color allows you to change the color assigned to the curve. Clicking on the Properties button for a curve loads the Curve Properties dialog. Click on the Markers tab to activate it, and then change the Marker style from None to Square. Click the OK button to close the Curve Properties, and then again to close the 2D Axis System dialog. The curve for the channel speed appears as a thick red line. This is because the channel has many data values, causing the overlapping marker to appear as a line. Go back to the Curve Properties dialog. Activate the Markers tab. Change the marker to appear every 100 points. Click on the Labels tab to activate it. Drag and drop the Speed channel from the Data Portal to the Labels tab Channel Control labeled From Channel. Set the Alignment to Automatic. Set the Repeat Text to Every Endpoints. And then set the N option to 100. Click the OK button to close the Curve Properties, and then again to close the 2D Axis System dialog. Load the 2D Axis System Settings dialog for the 2D Axis System in the View Sheet upper left area, and change the color for Curve number 2 to blue. Use the Band Zoom toolbar for the 2D axis system in the View Sheet upper right area to zoom into the X axis range from 5 to 10 seconds. In the Data Portal, select the Channel Group example and then right click and choose the option Set Default Group. Activate the Analysis panel and select the Menu Options Channel Functions, Find Peaks. Configure the Find Peaks dialog to find peaks for the channel RPM. Set the search criteria to look for the maximum values. Set the Specify Peaks to look for the maximum values by order of X values. Set the search parameters to a maximum number of peaks of 5. Make sure the checkbox Store Result in Original Channel is not checked. Click the Calculate button. Click the Close button to close the dialog. Two new channels were created in the channel group, example named Peak X and Peak Y. Activate the View panel. Load the 2D Axis System Settings dialog for the 2D Axis System in the View Sheet upper left area. Drag and drop the Peak Y channel from the data portal to the 2D Axis System dialog, curve number 1, Y channel. Drag and drop the Peak X channel from the data portal to the 2D Axis System dialog, curve number 1, X channel. 
Change the color for curve number one to no color. Click on the curve number two properties button and configure the markers with a square style, a line width of 0.5, a size of three, a marker color of red, a fill color of no color. Set the repeat marker to every endpoints and set the end value to one. Activate the labels tab. Drag and drop the channel peak Y from the data portal to the channel input control labeled from channel. Set the alignment to automatic. Set the color to red and the repeat text to every point. Click the OK button to close the curve properties dialog. Change the 2D Axis System Toolbar Y Axis option from N Systems Linear to Y Axis Linear. The peak values for the RPM channel are now shown and identified with a marker for the first 30 seconds of the channel. Modify the display of the 2D Axis System legend by moving the mouse cursor to the view sheet lower left and hovering the mouse over the divider between the curve and the legend. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag the divider to the left, exposing the legend. Access the legend settings by right-clicking on a 2D axis system and choosing Legend from the pop-up menu. Remove the display of the unit by selecting the second row in the Properties for Display and then clicking the Less Than button to the left. Note the list of channel properties in the Properties Not for Display that could be added to the legend. Click the OK button to close the dialog.